IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to the first episode of Season 22 of Braves Beat. I'm Reese Tuttle. And I'm Isaac Fiore. Happy to be here again for another season. A little surprised you're back here, too. Yeah, I could say the same for you. What are you still doing here? That's right. We're both parasites, and we will never leave this show until we've drained it of all the news there is to deliver. Wait, aren't you a senior? Not anymore. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. All Braves are invited to attend an induction ceremony tonight, Friday, January 21st, 2022, as the Indian Hill Athletic Hall of Fame welcomes three new members, Nicole Bell, 2012, Michael Eaton, 1988, and Epa Rixey, the fourth, 1972. We'll be honored at the halftime of the Varsity Boys basketball game, which begins at 7.30 p.m. in the Indian Hill High School Gymnasium. Please join us as we celebrate the achievements of these outstanding inductees. Our global culture celebration starts off next week. We will have international music playing in the halls, a week-long goose chase, a worldwide guest speaker, Caitlin Jarvis, presenting during Flex, and my personal favorite, the Global Parent Network, We'll be giving international food samples during Thursday's lunch. I sure am excited. Brian Gia has stolen my spot as host for Student Spotlight. Let's see how he did. Hello, Braves, and welcome to another Student Spotlight. And here I have Daniel Chen. So what are you here for? Um, I was chosen to, to be here today. Uh, OK, so you're running some kind of eSports club, aren't you, Daniel? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm running the eSports program at Indian Hill. Um, we got funding for it. Yeah, um, it's near the cafeteria, at, like in Little Fishbowl, the old bookstore. Yeah, I've seen that room. It's a one room with a bunch of PCs and chairs in it now, right? Yeah, that's what we got funding for. So what's been your favorite part of running the club so far, Daniel? Um, the lifelong uh, experiences that I that I got, yeah. All right, are you looking forward to the first league? When will that be? Uh, like somewhere between January and February. And I know that you are looking forward to running Valorant and Rocket League, but what other games are you looking to run? Uh, so. We could do other games, like we have the computers necessary to. Um, the issue is we don't have enough advisors to advise those uh, like other games on different dates. So um, as of right now, it's only Boyer. Um, but we are able to do Fortnite. We are thinking about starting to do a Madden or 2K, you know, uh, prize pool giant like Indian Hill tournament that we could do. So that'll be fun. We could run it. Um, on the PCs that we have. It'll bring some traction to the club as well. All right, Dan, well, would you like to share anything else with us? Uh, join, join Indian Hill Esports. All right, that has been today's Student Spotlight. Back to you at the news desk. Wow. I'm glad Daniel's on Braves Beat this semester. This past Saturday, the Indian Hill Robotics team had their first competition of the season. 60 robotics teams from all over the Southwest, Ohio, and Northern Kentucky gathered for the Level and Vex competition. The event consisted of 90 rounds of qualifying matches and a winner go home elimination round. Our teams made it all the way to the quarterfinals. Some of our robotics members got some footage. Roll the clip. Next Tuesday and Thursday, our Braves DECA District team will be competing at UC Claremont. Make sure to cheer them on. Next up is a compelling sports report with Dylan and Gino. Let's check it out. Thanks, Reese and Isaac. Hello, Braves. I'm Gino Cardosi. And I'm Dylan Condor with this week's sports report. Well, we've got a few sports stories to cover, so let's get into it. 
Girls basketball defeated Taylor 56-38, and JV also beat Taylor 33-18. Unfortunately, boys varsity and boys JV both lost to Wyoming 42-53 and 40-25, respectively. In swimming, Gibson and Holmes broke the Foster Brothers record at the Ohio High School meet. Congratulations. Our indoor track team went to Ohio State for the first meet of the season, where Sky Williams set the school shot put record. Wow! The girls 4x200 placed first in their heat. Congratulations. In fairness to the competition, though, well, there was no competition. They were running completely unopposed. Boys basketball plays Taylor tonight, which is also Hall of Fame night, and the girls play Marymount on Saturday. Well, that's everything we've got for this week. Take it away, anchors. We are really knocking it out of the park, Braves. Good job. Last week was the opening of the Winter Art Show. Work from 186 students is currently on view in the main lobby. The pieces range from beginner to advanced works in photography, drawing, painting, graphic design, digital art, printmaking, and ceramics. The show will be up until January 21st. Congratulations to all of the participants. We are very proud of your creative efforts. The mask mandate has been continued. The new end date is next Friday, January 28th. We will update you again next week. Remember, Braves, keep it above the nose. Well, Braves, that's it for this week's news. What about the pep rally, Isaac? Oh, right. Uh, well, chances are that you're showing this in fifth period. So we've got about uh, an hour or two until an end of the day pep rally to get us all hyped up for homecoming. That's exciting. So be sure to uh, follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube. We only had two new subscribers since the first of January. So come on, Braves. Sign up and subscribe to our channel. It helps a lot. And email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. So, uh, Jonah, what will you be adding to Braves Beat this year? So I'm mostly looking forward to doing some really good editing and animation work, but mostly... <laughs> uh, I have jokes. You have jokes? What yeah. do you have? Do you have any for me right now? Yes. What do you have? What do you call a horse with bad grammar? A horse with bad grammar. What do you call that? And horse. And horse? And horse.